Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sheetal Jaikar from Department of Anesthesia. I, Dr. Simarpreet Singh Anand. We will today demonstrate USG guided central venous catheterization on the right side to our PG students. So, central venous catheterization is a technique in which a central catheter is inserted in a larger vein such as femoral, subclavian, or an internal jugular vein. So, basic indications of this technique is a patient requiring massive resuscitation of fluid such as burns or trauma patient, a patient requiring venous access for a longer period of time, a patient posted for a supra major or a major surgery, or a patient who is posted for hemodialysis, as we can also introduce a hemodialysis catheter through the peripheral veins. There are basic contraindications for this technique as well, such as a patient having uh, coagulation disorders or a patient refusing the procedure itself. Certain complications of this procedures are one being carotid artery puncture, pneumothorax, hemothorax or a chylothorax. So throughout the procedure, strict aseptic conditions have to be maintained. So this is a sterile tray in which we'll open our central line. So once the sterile tray is ready, we'll open our central line in it. And now I'll explain the parts of central line. Central venous catheterization kit consists of a 18 gauge white type introducer needle, a 5 cc syringe with a 20 gauge hypodermic needle, a 50 cm J tipped guide wire, a 8 French dilator, and a 7 French triple lumen central venous catheterizer. Out of which the brown port is the one through which our guide wire will be removed. It also comes with a suture wing and a secure sterile dressing. After all the monitors are attached, the patient is given proper position. So in our case, we are choosing the right IJV. So the patient is asked to look at the left hand side so that we can get a proper access of the neck. After giving proper position, proper painting and draping is done with an aseptic solution and draping is done with a sterile sheet. So for the procedure, we'll be using a linear high frequency probe. So now we'll place the probe to scan for the right internal jugular vein and the carotid artery. So in the USG, we can see a pulsatile carotid artery and a collapsible right internal jugular vein. So once we, have, we are in place, so we'll take our 18 gauge introducer needle and under USG guided, in an out of plane technique, we'll, have, uh, we'll introduce the needle in the right IJV and have a backflow. After getting the backflow, so we'll introduce the guide wire. The guide wire is guided till the 15 mark, taking care of the arrhythmias. And once the guide wire is in, the introducer needle is removed. The next step is to put a dilator to dilate and make some space for the CVP line to introduce. So once the dilator is introduced, now we'll introduce our 7 French triple lumen CVP catheter. Make sure your brown port is always open because this is the port from which the CVP guide wire will come out. Now once we are near the neck, the guide wire is railed back and once it comes out through the brown port, the guide wire is held and the CVP line is introduced. Once the CVP line is introduced, the guide wire is removed. So once the CVP line is introduced, all the ports are checked and tightly secured. So after checking the back flows, now the CVP line is secured using sutures and sterile dressing, which comes along with the CVP catheter kit. So after suturing the CVP catheter till the desired level, a sterile dressing is placed and the back flow is checked again. 